it's to calculate the payment that we have here and we need to include the formula for the payment the payment formula is based upon the rate the number of the periods and the amount of money that is given to us that's why we have a negative part and it's given to us and the payment is always the same that we have to pay for hundred thousand dollars the first year we have hundred thousand dollars and based upon this amount we calculate the interest payment based upon a rate that does not change throughout the part of the loan from the fixed payment fourteen thousand nine hundred three dollars we paid eight thousand for interest the remaining of that goes to pay back the principal from the total amount of the loan we subtract what is the principal and this is the remaining amount of the loan we have and that is carried the next period everything else is exactly the same so we repeat the process for the next time we repeat the process for the next time we take the process from here and we repeat it for the next period we double check correctly it's the same amount of money we have now the pre the payment on the interest is on less amount of money for the same rate we have more amount to pay back the loan and that is the remaining of the loan we have that is carried for the next period if we continue everything to the last time the loan is paid completely at the end of the period we need to see if it's a fair loan which means the payment that we have every time needs to be discounted for the interest rate of the loan that remains constant all the time to that particular period and this is expanded for all the periods which means that in current prices we have to pay exactly the same amount that we borrowed